Hi guys, I'm back from vacation. Look, 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 look. I'm a little burnt, but I think it's gonna turn into a tan. Ah! I'm usually the color pasty, and this is tan for me. So ah, I'm so excited. Hopefully, I don't like start peeling. But oh my god, you guys, I had such a great time. I am so glad to be back though. Um, it was so much fun. I'm going to try to insert pictures for you guys. Um, I don't even know where to start. Everything went super smooth. The, the, the plane ride down there was fantastic. Loading onto the boat, they work that like a well-oiled machine. For how many people they were getting on the boat, I mean, we got on pretty quickly. Um, let me just say, the first like two days that I was there... I luckily did not feel the boat rocking, so like that was super wonderful, and I slept so good. I don't even know if it was like the slight movement of the ocean that just made me like so tired the first couple days that I was there, or just like the relaxation of just knowing that my kids were well taken care of, and my brain can just turn off, and I didn't have to like overwhelm myself with like life's craziness and work and everything. But the first two days, all I wanted to do was sleep. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. Um, what did we do while we were there? Let me see. We, there was a, I'm sorry if you can hear my husband's outside mowing because we came home and our yard looked terrible. <laughs> so he's outside mowing. Um, there was an ice skating rink there. They did put on a show, which was super awesome. There was a Broadway musical on um on the boat, we saw Saturday Night Fever. That one was okay. Um, I was a little jealous of some of the other boats. Like I would have died to see Mamma Mia. I love Mamma Mia. I love ABBA. Um, I would have loved it if it was it was ABBA. That one is on another boat. So if I ever if we ever do another cruise, I'm gonna try to secretly book for that one, so I can go see Mamma Mia. <laughs> My husband would hate that, but <laughs> he doesn't need to know. Uh, what else? There was a comedian on board. Um, the food was fantastic. Oh my gosh. The main dining had like three course meals every night. You got an appetizer, you got your main dish, you got a, um, what is it called? Like a dessert. Holy crap. I did not go without food at all. The buffet was stocked. It, it was amazing. It, I cannot believe the value of cruising, how much you actually get for just the amount that we paid. Like it was amazing. Um, we definitely had the interior room. Um, it was a little cramped, but you know what? We just needed it to sleep and change. So it worked out so well. Um, yeah, the value is so good. We're already like wanting to plan another cruise. Um, it was fantastic. The only two complaints that I had um, throughout the whole cruise was the elevators. Holy crap. If you wanted to ride an elevator, cause we were on deck two and the main dining, like everything was up on, um, level 11. If you wanted to wait for a, um, for an elevator, it took forever. And then by the time, sometimes the elevator even got to you, it was already full. So that was like one of my biggest complaints was just, uh, the elevator situation. But from what I hear, um, it's, kind of a normal, but it was okay. Um, what else? What else sucked? I, I don't even really know what else sucked. Um, coming home. <laughs> I will say coming home absolutely sucked. So, oh my gosh, sorry if you can hear my dogs barking. The ride when we got home. Okay, so the latest that we can get the transport from the boat to the airport was 9 a.m. That was the latest that we can schedule because um, we scheduled later than normal. Um, so transport took us to the airport at 9 a.m. Our flight wasn't even until 10.30 at night. So we were at the airport for well over 12 hours. Our flight was even delayed by 30 minutes, which oh, was just agonizing. Um, so that absolutely sucked. I think in the long run, we probably should have like taken an Uber and explored Fort Lauderdale and did some things, but we were kind of in the... Um, agreement that that would have just costed more money and we just didn't want to overspend. Um, we did really well with the cruise too. So you get like a sea pass card and everything is charged to your room. My husband did have a couple drinks. Don't tell my mom, but I had a couple drinks too. Um, and then we ended up just putting all of that on our sea pass card. Um, oh, we did not 
survive going without internet. Um, we didn't really use our internet. However, we just wanted to be able to get a hold of our children, um, make sure everything was going smooth for my parents who were watching them. So we did end up purchasing the internet package once we got on board. That cost $191. But all in all, we ended up spending an additional $480 and 191 of that was internet. And I had $400 already set aside for vacation. So we ended up going over by $80. I thought that was fantastic, but okay, let's go ahead and get into this. I have so much to do and y'all don't want to hear me ramble, but oh my God, it was such a great time. Um, so last time I filmed, sorry about my dogs, was my first $2 Tuesday. So we are making up our Wednesday session. Um, I took every bit of money from my wallet down with me, you know, like just in case scenario. And I'm so glad we did because um, gratuity was included for everything. However, I would have felt like such a bad person if I did not tip our waiters additional or the house cleaning additional or the person who the uh, transport to and from the boat. Um, so I ended up taking money down there, not expecting to really use cash, but I did want it for tips, even though gratuity was included. So I managed to still come home with this $50 bill. <laughs> oh my gosh, my dogs are going crazy. Ah, oh, they're such a pain in the ass. <laughs> so $50 is going to go over into my Monday minis and... We are going to play with that on Monday. So I'm just going to set that in there. So that was all I was really able to come home with. And you know what? I'm still super happy with that. I have a boat ton of ones here too, but we will get into that. So we are going to restuff the wallet for my week. Today is Saturday. It's a short week. So I did lower the, the denominations to a lot of things. Let me kind of show you my crazy. My husband's paycheck was $572. I already told you guys I was gonna set aside $100 to help with my house payment. Oh no, he's weed whipping, great. Um, so groceries, we're gonna put a little less in in a lot of our categories. I'm still gonna throw $50 towards that and we're gonna have $97 for Satan challenges. So we went to the bank today and we still got out $472. So let me go ahead and give this account so we can restuff my wallet. Let's see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited to be back. Um, all right, let's go ahead and give this account. I have 51, 52, 53, 320, 340, 360, 370, 380, 390, 400, 410, 20, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, and 72. So $372 here for my um, cash stuffing. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and stuff my wallet for the week. Um, and I have my cheat sheet over here. So I typically put in for a whole week $180. I'm only going to put in $150 um, just because I am out of a lot of things. And I really only have to get us to Wednesday, but I do want to stock up and just go out and get some stuff. My kids were very quick to tell me when I got home that they were out of their good chips and the healthy chips that are in our pantry that my husband likes to take to work were no bueno. <laughs> so we have to get them their junk food ASAP because I don't think they can survive. <laughs> so date night. Um... I'm going to still put $60 in. Um, I don't remember what my denominations are. So we're going to do $60 for date night. Um, gas. Um, I think I am technically okay. I can put a little bit in. My husband is probably on E. Um, so I'm going to put $50 in. I don't even know when he goes back to work. Hopefully soon. Because all of this time that I have spent with my husband... It is too much. That is the one thing that I was so excited about <laughs> coming home. And I'm so sad to say this. Like, please don't judge me. But when we are home, my husband has like a gaming area in the basement where he can go down and play his video games. And I love it. It's like my alone time that I can 
I can watch videos, I can watch whatever TV I want, I can read my smut books. <laughs> like, I love my alone time. And that was one thing on that cruise that we just never got to have. <laughs> there were several times where I was trying to encourage him, you know, maybe you should go to one of the bars and watch a basketball game. Or, hey, why don't you go up and hit up a casino? And yeah, no, he wanted to spend all of his time with me. And uh, it was just like, go away. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I'm sad to say that, but <laughs> I definitely am very much a loner. I love being alone. I love the quietness of my, I can just think oh, without the interruptions. And <laughs> that was the one thing that drove me nuts on the ship, but it was okay. Um, I do have some change here. So let me go ahead and empty out the change. And now my wallet is kind of restuffed for this very short week. Let me go ahead and put my change in here. All right. Yay. 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 I have money. I can go grocery shopping. Um, I did manage to set aside several ones. Um, we don't have anything additional. Um, all of that and even some of my ones. Oh, I was so sad. This, some of my main letter books I did have to give away, but they deserved it more than, I don't want to say more than my kids, but they deserved it. So I did not want to short them at all. Um, so let's see what we're adding in L bucks. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine L bucks is what we are adding. I'm not going to count this um, <laughs> just for the sake of the length of the video. C bucks for my son Colton. One, two, three, four, five. Five C bucks. I did make sure that when I was giving away the letter bucks I didn't want to give away, it was L's. <laughs> And that's so sad to say, but only because L's are so easy for me to come by. I definitely wasn't giving away my C-Bucks because I just, ugh, C's are so hard for me to find. So B-Bucks, we kind of have quite a bit. B's, I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven B-Bucks for my daughter, Brie L. And my goal is once I get to $25, and I might even I already have $25 here for Landon. I will count that later. Um... This money will go into their savings account um, just so I can set a little bit of money aside for my kiddos. All right, debt. I have $50 here. I'm going to put in my new debt binder. Okay, so here is something else we're gonna go over. Um, a long time ago, a very long time ago, two months ago, I decided to order these A5 size binders. And I was under the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I was kind of thinking about purchasing these in bulk so I can sell on my Etsy shop. Now, because my Etsy shop, I sell a lot of a six size challenges. I kind of was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't because I don't think a lot of people love a five as much as I do. And that is perfectly okay. But um, Lena, Budget with Lena, sells these in A6, and I did reach out to her asking if she sold them in A5, and she did not, so I did go on and order some for me, um, and yeah, I, it took like two months for these to come in, but I am going to use them, see if I like them. If you guys are interested in A5 of these, uh, binders, let me know there's still a possibility that I am considering purchasing them in bulk so I can sell them on um, my Etsy shop. Um, $50. Okay, so I moved around a lot of my binders just to accommodate the cute new ones. <laughs> so this is going to be my new debt binder. And I'm super excited about this being my new debt binder because it doesn't have the glare that my old one has. And my sister made a very, um, made it very, um, made a comment that my double chin likes to show in the reflection, so I could not change out this binder fast enough. So thanks, Jordan. I hate you. <laughs> but that was kind of her to tell me, but, you know, she was mean about it. She's so mean to me. Okay, so let's see. I have some money here to work with for challenges. My new challenge book is this pink one, and why did I make this one my new challenge book? Let me show you how huge these rings are. 
These rings are massive. I can fit so much into here. Honestly, I was not going to make this my challenge book until I saw how big the rings were. Look at the ring difference. This was my challenge book and the rings are just so, oh, just, it's such a huge difference. So I loved that. I feel like my challenges fit in here so much better. I printed off all these super cute dashboards, um, of course otters. So yeah, that is kind of what, <laughs> What we are working with now, I'm so excited. I still am working with 10 challenges, $97. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I am chatting away. All right. So my first one here comes from ooh, Sarah on a budget. I do have a $2 IOME. <coughs> Excuse me. From the last time. So we are going to play Nacho Average Terrain. Let's see, let's go ahead and pay up my $2. Hopefully, I will have to make change somewhere, but my $2 is now paid. All right, let's see where we are starting. We last ended on the tomatoes. Now we are working on these yucky things. <laughs> ugh, ugh, my dad loves those things, but I, ugh, I, I, I don't, ugh. <laughs> uh, what, what are these? Um, Oh gosh, I don't even know. What are they called? It just totally le left my head. All right, let's roll. All right, even, no, odd, even. Odd. So we are going to scratch right here. That is $6. Let's go again. And we are now doing little onions over here. So four, one, two, three, four. So six plus three makes $9. So what I'm gonna do is put $1 back and take a 10. So in Nacho Average Train, this is out of $200. So far this one has saved me 50, 100, 20, 30, 31, and 32. So $132. All right, this next challenge from Boy Mom Loves to Save. Um, so far, I have scratched an eight. Let's go ahead and see what we are working with. Two spots over, let's do one and two. Six dollars, let's go ahead and, oh, let's stop right there. <laughs> well, five and six, and so far this one has saved me five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, this next challenge comes from Lemon Ivy. I love this, these school supplies. This is perfect for my kids' needs. Let's see what we're scratching. One, two, three, and four. Please be a small number. Six dollars, wow. Um, one, two, three, and four, sweet. We're gonna take four back and add a 10. And so far, this one has saved me 50, 70, 80 dollars. So I have two left to scratch and $20 still. Ugh. Okay, roll the rainbow of cuteness. Look how cute that is. I love it so much. All right, we are going to roll this color dice and see which one we are scratching. We have already completed the blue. So if I get a blue, I'm just gonna roll again. Pink. All right, this is my last pink, and that is for four dollars. Let's go ahead and scratch one more time. Blue. Let's go again. Purple. All right, so four plus six makes ten. Super cute. I love it. All right, so this one so far is out of $120 and has saved me 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, and 67. Love it. All right, this next one comes from Misfits of Budgeting. Look how stinking adorable this is. I love the vibrant colors. Oh, this is so well done. I love it so much. So let's roll and see which one we are going to scratch. Two spots over, one and two. 
four dollars do I have I'm gonna put a one back and take this five all right so so far um, the sea turtle has saved me 20 30 35 40 41 and 42 All right, April showers brings me flowers. This one comes from April's, April's Fresh Start Budgets. See, I, I can't talk. <laughs> All right, let's save. Oh, let's put a 10 in here. So let's knock out these two fives. Probably bold, but oh, I am really trying to conserve my ones just in case. So this one is out of $50 and so far it has saved me $20.35. Okay guys, this next one comes from Erica Budgets. I made a complete oopsie the last time I was filming and I put five extra dollars in here. So I have five dollars in here. I am just going to kind of blend it in with this one. So let's roll, see what I'm scratching, and then I'm going to subtract $5. So three spots over. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and scratch right here. That is $4. Um, <laughs> let's go again. <laughs> three spots over. One, two, three. So four plus nine makes $13. And then subtract five, I believe is eight, but let me double check because obviously I am good at messing up. So four plus nine equals 13. I was over by $5. So I'm going to put $8 into this challenge to make it where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to take these $2 and take this 10. So now this is out of $100 and so far I have saved 50. So we are paid up and we are good to go. All right, this next cute one comes from Girl Mama Budgets. This was a freebie that she put up on her channel. Super, super cute. Let's go ahead and put in, let's put $5 into this one. So let's knock out this four and this one. We are just being a little conservative. So we have $30 in this, and this is out of 75. Okay, this is why I was being a little conservative because I think there might be a 20 hidden under here. I know technically I created it, but to be completely honest, once the stickers go on it, I, I don't remember. I could technically go back and look, but I feel like that's cheating and I don't want to do that. So let's scratch six spots over. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's scratch right here. $12. Sweet. Okay. Thank goodness. So 10, 11, and $12 is going to be going into this one. Sale into savings. This is in my Etsy shop, which I will open back up today, a day early. So this one's out of $100, and so far it has saved me 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, and 37. Okay, and last one, I just received this one very recently, um, Busy Bee Budgeting. She was so sweet, Maisie, to send all of these out to me, April showers, bring me flowers, and I had to start this one while it's still April. I have, ooh, I have more money than I thought. I have 20... One, two, three, four, five, twenty-five dollars left. Holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and scratch one, maybe two, and see what we can do with this one. Four spots over. One, two, three, and four. Twenty-two? Maisie! I thought you liked me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 21 and 22. Holy crap. I was being conservative for my challenge, but I didn't realize that Maisie's was... Ooh, she's spicy. She's a spicy girl. I like it. All right, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, and 22 in for Maisie. Ooh, she rocked it. 
All right, I have $3 left over. So let's go back to Girl Mama Budgets because I can put $3 in here safely <laughs> and not have an IOU. So let's scratch off this $3. So $3 is gonna go in here. And now this is at a 75 and I have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Super cute, I love it. Okay guys, this is the completion of my normal um, Wednesday cash stuffing. I am going to upload this today. Um, to, I'm also going to film my um, fry yay. I think I might um, put that up tomorrow. I'm gonna film it today. That way um, I can have that up on Sunday. Um, I'm going to randomize all the completed savings challenges um, in my laptop binder. And then the money that I have set aside for debt, I think I'm just going to roll that into the following Saturday. So then when Monday rolls around, we can get back to our normal filming schedule. And I am not overwhelming and blasting you guys with videos. Um, so yay, I'm so excited that we were able to cash stuff. I missed it so much, so much, you guys. Um, yes, my Etsy shop will be live um, probably here within the next hour or two, um, probably even once this video is uploaded. Thank you guys so much for not giving up on me coming back. Thank you guys so much for all your safe, um, your well wishes. And I had the best time on this cruise. I will insert pictures at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing those. And yeah, I will be back tomorrow. Um, okay, that's awkward. Bye friends. <laughs>